two. Who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? What I mean by this really is, we know the answer now. We know that Hitler wanted to conquer Eastern Europe, beat America, dominate the world. We know he would murder millions of people. We know we start the war that would lead to the deaths of 55 million people. It's easy. We all know the answer. Well, it wasn't easy in 1933, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Okay, reading Hitler was not easy. It used to be a joke. You may have heard of Hitler's book, Mein Kampf. Right, my struggle, absolutely blooming unreadable, to be frank with you. Um, and the joke was the Foreign Office, the people who run foreign policy in Britain, had a copy of it, but nobody had ever read it. Not fair. Hitler wrote Mein Kampf in 1924. This is years later. Munich is 18 years later. And, you know, well, maybe we're talking a rather different character. 14 years later, sorry, I get it right. Um, nobody knew. And Hitler often portrayed himself as a more moderate Nazi than some of the others, as did Hermann Goring, his henchman. So the hope was that maybe the Nazis weren't quite as extreme as they looked. Oh, that was a bit of a mistake, wasn't it? Then there was a belief that the Treaty of Versailles had been too harsh on Germany. And in many ways, that, you know, people believed that. They thought, well, hang on, look, the treaty's been so harsh, so unfair, we should redraw some bits of it. And Hitler was just being reasonable in saying, let's redraw the Treaty of Versailles. Underneath it... We know the truth. In 1937, Hitler met his generals and the guy called Hossback wrote, a Lieutenant Hossback wrote an account of it called the Hossback Memorandum. In it, Hitler said, I want war with Czechoslovakia by 1943 at the latest. Czechoslovakia wasn't much loved anyway. Certainly not by Hitler, who saw it as a creation of the Treaty of Versailles, but even in London, the government viewed the Czechs as a sort of problem and they viewed Benesch, the Czechs leader, as a bigger problem than the Czechs. And the truth is, in Britain, there were quite a lot of people who liked Hitler. I'll give you three examples. There was a woman called Unity Mitford, one of five famous aristocratic sisters, who was basically like Hitler's pet. She was kind of like a lapdog. When she got married, Hitler gave her a wedding present of a signed photo of him. That's nice, isn't it? Um, Lady London Derry was a great friend of the former Prime Minister, Ramsay MacDonald, who died just before Munich. Um, she was pretty pro-Nazi. Edward VIII, the king in 1936, until he was forced to abdicate because he wanted to marry an American divorcee called Wallace Simpson. Edward VIII was pretty pro-German, to be frank with you. And then, people that were pro-German but thought it might be worth being nice to the Germans. See how it works. Lloyd George visited Hitler in 37 at a smashing time. Lord Halifax went hunting. He was the foreign secretary by 1938. Before that, he'd been hunting with Goring in Germany and met Hitler. Chamberlain. These weren't suckers. These were Halifax. And men. These were not stupid men, but they all thought it might be worth a chance of just trying to drag the Germans into the net, of dragging Hitler's Germany into a series of agreements that might just keep the lid on things. And we'll call this the diplomatic web, if you like. The idea was to tie the Germans in. The best example is the 1935 agreement to limit the relative size of navies, the Anglo-German Naval Agreement. The other way of doing it was, of course, to stand up to them. In 34, Hitler threatened to Anschluss, you know, to join Austria and Germany together again. And Mussolini stopped him. Mussolini said, you're not doing that, mate. Oh, no, 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 sorry. I uh, moved Aust um, Italian troops to the Austrian border and Hitler had to back down. In 1935, the Italians, the British and the French met at Stresler in the Italian lakes and said, we'll stand up to the Germans. They didn't. The other question was just how strong were German forces? Many thought they were much stronger than they were. So how you read Hitler's Germany was actually difficult. Was it Hitler of the Second World War? Or was it that not very nice, but nonetheless sensible Hitler?